What's up guys, it's me back again. Um, I just wanted to answer a few questions posted to me on um, Facebook when I posted a few of these videos. Um, so the questions we've got so far, one of Laurie and one of Winter, um, which I believe are the same question. They're asking about um, the equivalent tools in Critter to say the um, the clone stamp tool or the repair tool or patch tool um, so they're talking about like the image repair tools if it's got a rip in it and uh, these tools that will fast allow you to um, repair the damage uh, within a, a given area um, yes there is um, such a function um, within Critter and I'm only happy to show you how to do that so what you're going to need to do is obviously pull up the image that you're looking to repair, in which case that is for me is this one. Um, I've just taken a section of um, a repair um, and what I want to do is um, I'm going to select this um, patch tool up in the top left. If this screen doesn't look um, exactly as mine does, just for the purposes of this, you can go ahead and select this um, icon right here, which looks like a, a little window with a down arrow in the bottom right. Left select left select that and then you're going to left select big paint and it's just going to make sure that your screen looks exactly the same as mine so most of your buttons and everything else will be in exactly the same place okay then you're going to come down to the bottom here and you're going to make sure that you've got, got ink selected um and then what you're going to make sure you've got next is a, a nice big thick brush um so just keep selecting one you can see the average size of the brush right there on the on the canvas um indicated by that little green circle that you could see on the screen it might be pink on yours it should um react to the colors that are behind it to um, make it easier to see um uh, you want to try and get as, as big as base nib as possible um preferably wider than um your uh, split there are other brushes available if you go to all you'll be able to see all of them and there's one that I actually quite recommend for the damage and I just want to show you what that looks like um, one second just scroll away for it um, for those times where you actually know the names of the brush and you can search for it okay so yeah we've got this one here it is and uh, it's called a fill block okay so once we've got this um, one selected right here, which is the two patches, one over the other. It looks like two band-aids, uh, one over the other. And then what we can do now is we can just draw the uh, over the area that's infected with the problem. And it's going to be that area there like that. And then this area here. I've done that quite horribly. I've used a, a, a very wide um, stance to do it. If you if you use obviously smaller increments and, and blend these techniques together, um, then you you're gonna have an, an easier time of it. But you can see that's um, that's the yeah, the repair and um, sort of stamp tool if you like. Um, closer to the stamp tool, I think um, of what I think you think of as as a a stamp tool. I would say um, if you take a, an area of the image um, as you would if you were trying to take a color sample so you take um, a round selection we say maybe this area and this is the area I want to stamp everywhere else um, if you control copy and then select on the brush editor right here um, what it will allow you to do is to head on over to predefine to make sure you're in brush the top one which is pixels because that's what we're working with and um, make sure you're in brush tip and then click predefined right here at the top and then what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, say what i want is in the clipboard because you just copied it and there it is we we'll say okay and now what we can do is we can use what's there in order to um to stamp everywhere else um so what I should be able to do right now is if I click off of this, um, just a fact if I just click in that area, there you go. You can see it's it's stamping the same thing over and over again. Um, so if that's the um, stamp function you were looking for. Um, when you're using the stamp function, try and use a, a solid background um, or a solid brush, such as a, a fill brush or um, or an ink brush. Um, and then reduce the opacity if you want to um, start to introduce um, 
lending techniques from the uh, original area that you come from um, to make sure that you can then begin to blend in exactly what you want. Um, as you can see here, you can actually physically just select an area and, and stay within those boundaries as you can within there within Photoshop. So I can then begin to say, oh, well, I only want to work within that area. Obviously, be cautious when you um, do something like that because as soon as you deselect, you can suddenly see where you are actually working. But um, if I quickly say did something like that, you can see you can um, effectively remove the background with a quick stamp tool. So Winter and Laurie, I hope that helps and I hope it shows you uh, two of the, the basic um, repair sort of tools that you can use uh, which marry up to sort of Photoshop. Um, so the first one being the, um, the patch tool itself where you can select the actual damage and the second one being if you just select a sample area of the area you want, you're going to hit control, you're going to go down into your brushes you're gonna it's gonna look like this when you first get here. You're gonna select predefined and then you're gonna click clipboard over here. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up a new screen. It's gonna to say to you, oh, this is what you've got in the clipboard. If the if the thing you want is not selected here, make sure you've got the right layer selected and you've got the um and you've gone ahead and copied it. You've gone to edit or copy or you press control and C on the keyboard at the same time. If you haven't done that and this is blank or it's something else, then um, you just need to click cancel here, make your selection again, make sure you've copied it, click back here, it should be right there, and then you should be able to hit, it should be ready to go, it should be ready to hit clipboard again straight away. Excuse me, sorry. So I'm hoping that answers your question on those two and it'll give us um, a starting point for us to um, begin to use some of these tools. Okay, so thank you very much. Bye-bye.